Hi everyone, it's Tanya Stacey from Cup of Cha Tea Channel, the place for all those tea addicts and tea lovers to build your tea knowledge. This is the second part of the series of tea and food pairing interviews that I'm doing over summer. And today we have Cheryl Teo from Flag and Spear. Now Cheryl comes from an engineering background and she runs a tea events or tea themed food events company. She's based in Melbourne and I have to admit, full disclosure, we do um, catch up on occasions to drink tea. I was able to interview her one-on-one. -on -one. So enough talking, let's get into it. Gosh, um, that's a hard question because I, I actually don't remember a time that I didn't love tea. Um, right. So being Chinese, it's part of my cultural heritage. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so at home growing up, we always had tea around. Right. Um, and also traveling with my family um, to China the first time I was a teenager. And I think I've always just been fascinated with it. And okay. yeah, I, I can't, I, it's a very hard question to answer because I don't remember a time that I didn't love it. Okay. I'm really excited about where tea is going um, in the hospitality industry. So my, I, I love working with um, tea and food pairing and tea and beverage pairing. Mm -hmm. And um, I think there's definitely a space for it that is beyond just, um, you know, with, with breakfast or with high tea. Yep. I think there's really a space for it in terms of like non-alcoholic uh, beverage pairings. Um, there is so much that you can do with tea, you know, and then now, especially with a lot of people being health conscious and not wanting to consume too much sugar or um, alcohol, um, having tea as an option where there's so much flavor, there's so much range in flavor. Um, it really, there's a, there's a massive gap that tea can step into. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm really excited about where tea is going. I think you were the first person that used the term that, well, I heard it anyway, flavor geeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I use it all the time now. I pretend <laughs> I made it up, but I know it was you. So. Yeah. yeah, well, I think um, just with the work that I do, um, pairing tea with other things like cheese or uh, recently I've been working with whiskey um, and, you know, working with chefs, I found that the connecting factor is that people just really love flavour. They really love you know, how different processing techniques, different terroirs, all those kind of things affect the end flavor. Yeah. And so they really understand where I'm coming from when I talk about, oh, mm. this tea tastes like this, and this is the reason why, and there's a real connection. So what's your approach to pairing or tea infused food? So for me, it's always tea first. So I'll always, I'll, if I'm drinking a tea, I'll, I'll often think, um, oh, what would I like to pair this with? Or what flavors can I taste and what will it go with? On occasion, there are times where I'll eat something and I'll be like, oh, I really feel like having this tea with it. Sure. Um, but usually when I do team food pairing, I start with the tea and go from there. Okay, so one of my favorite um, combinations, so to, going back to what I was saying before about Flavor Geeks, one of my favorite combinations was uh, Oriental Beauty uh, Oolong paired with a cheese called Mimolette. Um, oh, that was my Oriental Beauty that, too. That, yeah, oh, it was. Just the plug there. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason that I really love this pairing, apart from just tasting delicious, um, is that, you know, I was, I was actually talking to a, a cheesemonger and, um, and I was describing tea and I was telling him how, um, you know, technically speaking, if you had a tea, a camellia sinensis, a tea plant in your backyard, you could make all six categories of tea. Um, and he was like, wow, because if you have a cow in your backyard, you could make all six <laughs> categories of cheese. And we just thought that was hilarious that there was like this synergy in, in the yeah. stories and, um, you know, these natural products that are made. Yeah. Um, and so I was telling him about, um, I introduced him to the Oriental Beauty and before I had even um, let him try it, I was telling him of the story of, um, of how Oriental Beauty is processed and how it's uh, bitten by the green leaf hopper and how mm. that affects 
um, the the flavor of it, that sweetness. Mm. And even before, like I said, before even before tasting it, he just jumped up and he said, "I know which cheese to go with this." And he ran into his cheese room and he got out this mimolette, which had yeah. a very similar process which was okay. um they covered the surface um with cheese mites and then it, it has a very similar effect on the cheese causing this sweetness and when we tasted it together it just was absolutely delicious mm. and i just love that it came from that same you know that synergy in the processing methods so that's a hard one <laughs> there's been a lot of really good yeah. pairings I would have to say one of the most memorable would be um, uh, at Vudamond. So a mm -hmm. while ago, uh, Tanya, myself and some others, we went to a popular restaurant in Melbourne called Vudamond. Um, yeah. And our good friend Thibault is uh, yes. looked after us. He's the um, tea sommelier at Vudamond. Um, and in our group, there was Jenny Dodd. Yes. And uh, she's, she does Nepalese tea. Yes. Um, and so we arrived at Vudamon and she had a bag of tea in her hand. So she was dressed to the nines holding a bag of tea. Yeah, her stash. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, she had to, like, give it to, to Tibor before, before we went into the dining room. He's, she was like, this is for you. Yeah. Um, and then I think it was one of the uh, middle courses. It was a Marin Mm. And it From was Western paired, Australia, yeah. yeah. And it was paired with the bud, budu. Mm. Um, it's a Nepalese tea. Yeah. Um, and again, just that whole, just so funny, just rocking up with a bag of tea and oh, then no. having it served to us. <laughs> <laughs> but that was absolutely delicious, really divine. It puts a whole new slant on BYO. Yeah. <laughs> So this year, um, I've been working a lot with a, a local distillery, a Starwood Distillery, and we've been doing a lot of whiskey and tea pairing. Um, I actually find it quite difficult to pair, to do that pairing because of the high alcohol content of the whiskey and very strong flavors. And then trying to pair it with a tea, um, I found that astringency could be an issue. And so finding um, a tea with that body and intensity of aroma, but not clashing with the alcohol content in the whiskey was actually quite challenging. Mm. Um, but it was it was really fun. Yeah. yeah. It, so it, it was hard, but it was fun. Yeah. It it took a lot of uh, of sessions. <laughs> sessions. <laughs> See, my problem with that is, at what time of the day is it? late enough to drink whiskey but early enough to drink tea it's always 12 o'clock somewhere in the world that's and right that's <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh it's very hard to answer that question um oh, i really can i just give you a range of teas that i yeah, love it's <laughs> your answer um i really love um japanese green teas uh, in the morning. Yep. Um, I love um, high mountain or high grown Chinese um, yes. black teas. Mm -hmm. So that really sweet, um, you mm. know, heady aroma. Um, I really like um, Sheng Pu'er's. I just love that getting kicked in the face with. Um, yep. Yep. Um, but I love all, all kinds of teas. Yeah, it's hard. To, it's a hard one to answer. It's a mood one. It's a mood. It depends yeah. on how I'm feeling, what I'm eating. What yeah. the weather's like. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I really love yeah. Melbourne just because <laughs> just because of the people and the community here. We're very, very lucky. People can find me mainly online. So mm -hmm. Instagram, Flag and Spear, uh, Facebook. Uh, I also have a website just with some of um, some photos from my previous events. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, nothing on the calendar, okay. but we have. I am cooking up a few things. Well, thank you for joining me today. We're actually going to head off now and drink some more tea. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Ochazuke, my favorite. And so if you enjoyed this video today, please give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.